today. You know, we've got those big tropical juicy looking clouds, but they're not doing a whole lot for us right now. In fact, we have seen some sunshine. You can see over Belize Lake at times and it shows just, a, you know, up briefly, maybe for a minute or two and it gets a little bit brighter and then more clouds roll in. Now we just don't have a good lift at this hour to see a lot in the way of rain or thunderstorms. So there's going to be a chance a little later. So our hour by hour forecast does show that as we start to warm up, we get you closer to the upper 70s and the low 80s. We could begin to see some of those showers lift and drop overhead with a thunderstorm possible or two. Now more active weather is going to line up as we get you closer to Saturday as we expect that front to actually move south of us and just park itself. So that is going to be providing more opportunity for some decent rain as we get some upper level support right now. We just don't have a whole lot and similar story for tomorrow. So I don't think these are going to be complete washout days. So this might come as good news to you. So you can get some of that activity out, maybe side outside if you can in between a passing shower. I think you're going to be able to enjoy a nice walk and walks might be a little more comfortable. If we're going to have to deal with this high humidity, at least we're not seeing the sun out in full at the same time. So that's maybe the silver lining to all of this. You've got the clouds in place and just spinning in all that Atlantic moisture for you right now. Your temperatures at 71 in Galax or at 70 in Jefferson, 71 in Boone, 77 in North Wilkesboro, and a couple showers trying to kick in right now over the Blowing Rock area. You've got 79 in Burlington. You see those spots too, where you can see through the clouds, and this is our visible satellite imagery showing you that we do have some cloud thinning right along the Davidson and Randolph County border, but it's not everywhere. Most folks are seeing some sort of clouds today, and you're going to continue to look at that northeasterly breeze for you with winds that are right now out of the east, northeast, and spots and variable up in the mountains. So we look at the clouds. Some sunshine from time to time and highs that'll warm into the low 80s today with near 76 a little later. All right, let's talk about those models for rainfall. We're looking at anywhere from a half an inch to an inch. We get you closer to the weekend and we could be talking some three inch totals as well. This is expected to come up pretty significantly for us once we get you into Saturday and Sunday. And then we add more rainfall potential into Monday and Tuesday. So lots happening there. And then we're also, of course, talking about any influences from the tropics. We are already through Renee, Sally, Teddy, Vicki, and Wilfred are next on the list. And if we run out of these, we may end up using alpha and beta to start off with the Greek alphabet to continue our storm naming should it be necessary. It looks like it might be. We've got a very active week ahead. All right, your temperatures, though, as we look ahead into the evening hours from 82 this afternoon to near 80 this evening and then eventually down into the low 70s. So there's not huge range for temperatures. We see clouds off and on. We're expecting to see similar conditions tomorrow. Do expect the fog to become more of an issue late evening and through the early morning hours, temperatures overnight in the mountains near 66 degrees. Here's a look at your seven day forecast uh, and your weekend outlook, of course, too, showing you that we've got 82 degrees for you tomorrow. Uh, in 81 rather for Friday with 77 on Saturday and we take you back into the 80s on Sunday. So it really depends on how much sunshine you see as to what your temperatures will do. It's going to be muggy, buggy and rainy straight through early next week though.